You really can't hear this enough. Meditation does not require you to stop thinking. If you go into meditation with the expectation that you'll suspend all thought, you are going to have a rough go of it. Meditation is unlike anything else you do in life, in that here, failing, that is noticing you've got distracted and starting again, is succeeding. When you wake up from distraction, that is the magic moment, the victory, and it is a victory of real consequence. You are achieving the first big insight of meditation. It's a zoo inside your skull. Why is that important? Because the more you see all this clamour, the less likely you are to be controlled by it. You are no longer trapped inside your thoughts. You're momentarily stepping outside them, watching with a combination of horror and amusement and curiosity. The fact that humans can do this is astounding and probably should be taught in grade school because, as Jeff likes to argue, it points to an inner geography that is a lot more fundamental than the names of our state capitals. There's no question that for beginning meditators it can be really intimidating to behold the sheer magnitude of the inner craziness. It can also be wearisome to have to start over and over and over. But just know, this is exactly what is supposed to happen. It means you are doing it right. You don't have to reach a special state. Getting lost and starting over is meditation, at least at first. And it's also important to know that it gets easier with time. Bear in mind that you are building a new skill here. I'm always struck by how quickly people conclude that they can't meditate. If I handed you a flute, you wouldn't expect that you could rock the flute solo of a Jethro Tull song immediately. Likewise, the first time you meditate, don't expect radiant clarity. So again, you don't have to stop thinking, you just have to change your relationship to your thinking. In fact, you can learn to change your relationship to all of the mental Visigoths reaving and roving through your head, including thoughts, emotions and physical sensations.